Everything is bigger here. It's more of an emergency because they come in very late when it's already very progressed. And uh, we see everything. I think everything you see back home, you see here, but then in a late stage and without diagnostics. Malnutrition is mainly, it's also here. It's often a bit more in the, in the villages. What is really nice with malnourished is that actually the moment if they are not really, really sick, they, they can, uh, improve really fast. Here you just have a patient, your, your eyes, your, your hands and your stethoscope. Um, and you need to make a decision uh, what to do and, and uh, what you think it is. Type of patients has not been changed so much, but it's more the entire contact. So when I came, it was also the hospital was full of displaced people. Also in the beginning, uh, the two religions were still mixed. So we had as well Muslim as Christian patients in our hospital. There have been quite some some attacks on villages uh, and then you would love to go there um, but often it's just it's just still too dangerous. So just before I came all the Christian population went into the uh, Evishen because they felt insecure in Bosangoa and in the surrounding villages. There were a lot of attacks at villages and in town, um, and this is where they felt safe. We've had some incidents in the hospital as well. Uh, also the 5th of December, there's been shooting inside the hospital. At one point they actually walked past our buildings, so everyone was just holding their breath to kind of catch by voices which, which group it was, because at that time we were still mixed, so um, for the people in there it was like, are they after me or are they after the one who's sitting next to me? So it was really intense and everyone was just scared. Yeah. We have um, staff from, from both religions who work nice together and we have a fantastic team and they're part of this team and suddenly they just have to leave because they are Muslim and they're not safe anymore and they're all leaving and you can't stay behind as the last Muslim in a place where people are actually trying to kill you now and then. Yeah, what's left of such a country right now, you know? This is their place where they are supposed to be and it's just one such a war that is tearing people apart and yeah and that just makes it very very sad to see um so around five o'clock in the morning uh we got a call that there was a woman in a Liberté who was about to give birth and before the plan was that uh, the convoy to Chad, where they were on, was supposed to leave between six and seven. So it was quite of a close call. Yeah, we brought her to the delivery rooms where she immediately could start pushing. And uh, quite quickly she delivered a very healthy boy of over three and a half kilogram. And then uh, less than one hour after delivery we had to rush back because she had to catch her ride to Chad and uh, yeah I hope they made it I hope they made it well